Hi folks, this is going to be a short video showing you how to change the sunspot angle in any of the SC Podium presets to control the hardness of the shadows cast by the sun. Now this isn't something that people really ask about frequently, but I do think it's kind of a neat trick for users who like to experiment a little bit, and it's extremely simple, so this can be a pretty good introduction to editing the preset files. So this is what I'm referring to when I say the sunspot angle. A few years ago there was this post on the SE Podium forum, and a user posted this image. And the question was, I'm wondering if there's a way to disperse the natural light more. I feel that the sunlight is quite harsh coming in through the skylights. And he's not wrong, the light hitting these surfaces really is quite harsh. Now, I don't think it's completely unrealistic. Direct sunlight around noon can be very, very intense. But I also think it's perfectly fine to make some small changes to get a more appealing image, even if it's not 100% realistic. So what we can do is change a single value in the render preset, which effectively blurs the edges of the shadows cast by the sun. And you can see that effect in these three images. So I've got a kitchen scene, and in this first image, the sunspot angle is at its default value of 1.5. You can see the edges of the sun shadow areas are relatively sharp, and really this value works pretty well in most cases, and that's why it's the default value. But this tutorial is about experimentation, so here's what happens if we increase the sunspot angle to 4. You can see the edges of those sunspots get a little bit blurrier, and then if we increase it even further to 8, and make the time of day a little bit later, we're getting a much different feel in the lighting. These sunspots are a lot blurrier, and the lighting feels softer, so. Increasing the sunspot angle is one way to sort of simulate what shadows would look like on a more overcast day, whereas the default value is pretty representative of, you know, afternoon on a clear blue sky day. Alright, so there's two different ways to edit the sunspot value in the preset. We can either open the preset directly from our hard drive in a text editor, or we can use the Podium preset editor. It's actually a little bit easier to find the preset files directly from the folder, so I'm going to show you that approach first. So I've got a Windows File Explorer window open, and I'm just right here in the Windows C drive. The first thing you want to do is switch to the View tab, and make sure hidden items are checked. You won't be able to find the presets if this box is not checked. So check hidden items, then we're going to go to Users, click your user account, go to App Data. This is why hidden files needs to be turned on because if that was off the app data folder would be hidden so click into app data roaming scroll down to sketchup i'm in sketchup 2020 sketchup plugins scroll down to the su podium v26 folder and then all the preset files are right here in this presets folder so now all we need to do is choose the one that we want to edit and open it in a text editor now this is an exterior scene, so I'm going to be using the exterior default preset, but we don't want to edit this file directly. We want to save a backup, just in case we don't like the changes that we make, we always have the original. So I'm going to right click this file, copy, right click again, and paste. And then I'm just going to rename this Sunspot. You don't want to double click this file because Windows will probably try and open it in PowerPoint. So it's better to right click, go to open with, and choose notepad. If you don't see notepad, just click choose another app and it should be visible on the next screen. And when you click that, it's going to open the preset file in your text editor. In my case, I like to use a text editor called notepad++ just because the formatting is a little bit nicer. I think things are a little easier to see. So in this preset file, we have access to all the render settings that are pre-configured behind the scenes, and they're broken down into categories, so photons, final gathering, which controls the indirect light, anti-aliasing, which controls edge smoothing, overall quality settings, and then down here toward the bottom, we have the sky section. And so in order to edit that sunspot angle, we just need to change this one value right here. So you saw in the image examples what happens when we increase this from 1.5 to 3 to 8. In this case, I'm just going to type in 3, Control s to save, and then next time we create a render, it's going to use that new sunspot value. One of the reasons I like to do this directly from the preset file is if I want to try a bunch of different values, I can just keep this preset open in the text editor and change the value and then go right back to SketchUp and it'll automatically use the new settings. All right, so one more time, here's what it looks like as I raise that value. So sunspot at 1.5, the default, doubled it to three, 
and then doubled it again to six. And so those shadows just get progressively softer as we raise that number. I think the default value probably looks best with this scene, but again, it's all about experimentation. Now, as I mentioned earlier, you can edit the presets from inside SketchUp using the preset editor, so I'll just show you that real quick. It's under Extensions, SE Podium version 2.6, Tools, Preset Editor. Then you need to load the preset, so you click Load. Yours probably won't open directly up to this window, so you just need to click through the file path like I did earlier. And remember, hidden files need to be showing. And you go under Users, App Data, Roaming, SketchUp 2020, SketchUp, Plugins, SE Podium, Presets. I'll put the Mac file path beneath the video, and I'll probably also add an overlay when I edit this. So then we just select the preset we want to edit, Open. Under the Group tab, I need to go to Sky, and then it's right here in this list under Sun Shadow Softness. It's got the default value, but I can set this to anything I want. Type 3. Enter, then I just click Save, and that'll save that to the preset file. The one thing I don't like about the preset editor is that it takes you back to the beginning every single time. You can see up here under preset name, there's nothing here. So it unloaded the preset. So if we wanna make multiple changes after doing a couple test renders, you have to load the preset again. So it's just a lot of clicking when you use the preset editor. Um, which is sort of why I like to just keep the preset open in a text editor instead. All right, so that's the basic process of editing the presets. Now I did think of one more example to show you guys, so I'm just gonna flip to a different scene real quick, and then we'll wrap it up pretty quickly after that. Okay, so I was trying to think of some reasons you might wanna change the sunspot angle, and decided to try this studio setup, because I know some people do product rendering in SketchUp, and so I've got this cabinet in front of a curved backdrop, and normally what you would need to do in this situation is turn the sun off and then illuminate the subject with light emitting material panels. But I thought maybe the sunspot angle would let us take a shortcut and just turn the sun on and use the sunspot angle to get really nice soft studio shadows. Because typically if you rendered this, the lighting would be too harsh. So here it is with the sunspot angle at 1.5 and it doesn't really look like a studio scene it looks like a cabinet sitting outside in an all white environment. But if we increase that sunspot angle, it starts to get nice and soft, five, 15, 30, and then all the way up at 59, it really starts to look a lot like studio lighting. The shadows are really soft, um, and it's a lot like what we would get if we use light emitting materials to illuminate this cabinet. The reason it's 59 instead of 60 is because for some reason, after I increased the values above 60, I started getting very strange results. It was, the lighting was dark, so I'm thinking 60 must be some kind of hard limit, and so I set it to 59, and that was as soft as I could get it. But I think it really does look pretty good, and should be a lot faster to set up than, you know, than coming in and modeling light emitting material panels and moving them around until you get lighting you like. This way, you can just use the regular sun and shadow controls. You know, set your camera angle and get pretty nice image really quickly. All right, so anyway, that's just another idea I wanted to show you guys. And I think that's gonna wrap up the tutorial. Hope you learned something and I'll see you in the next one.